Russia seizes a little patch of Chasovoya, sacrificing with thousands of soldiers. Russia has managed to capture the eastern quarter of Chasovoy Yar, which is separated from the main part of the city by a water channel. This modest success has already cost Russia the lives of several thousand soldiers, writes the Financial Times. Ukrainian troops, withdrew from the easternmost part of the city after holding it, became impractical. According to Ukrainian Armed Forces spokesman Nazar Voloshin, Defensive positions there had been destroyed, so further attempts to hold on to that patch of land would have cost additional losses. Before the Russian invasion, the population of Chasavoya was 12,000 people. Now there are less than 600 civilians there who sit in basements under constant shelling. Chasovya is located on a strategic height. Further west lie the critical towns of Konstantinovka, Kramatorsk, Slavyansk and Pokrovsk. They would be at risk of occupation if Kremlin troops managed to get over the hill at Chasovya. Ukrainian military and Russian military analysts said Moscow's forces suffered significant casualties, perhaps many thousands, according to Kiev and analysts, in their attempt to seize Chasovya. As in the battle for Bakhmut, which Russia occupied last year after grueling months of fighting and which is just four miles to the east, Russian commanders are again employing meat storm tactics in which they send in small groups of infantry to advance on Ukrainian positions. According to soldiers on the front lines, Russians have recently been using motorcycles, motorbikes, four-wheelers and buggies to storm Ukrainian trenches. Russian occupation forces continue to destroy Ukrainian cities. The enemy completely destroyed the Canal Micro District in the city of Chasovya in Donetsk Oblast. This was reported by the military of the 24th Separate Mechanized Brigade, named after King Daniel. It is noted that the enemy is striking the city from all possible types of weapons. Chasovya, hell on earth. The Russians continue to destroy the city with all possible types of weapons. Soldiers of the 24th Separate Mechanized Brigade, named after King Daniel, continue to defend the city from significantly superior enemy forces in extremely difficult conditions. The Canal Micro District near the Seversky Donetsk Donbass Canal has turned into a pile of ash. This is what it looks like today, the statement says. The military noted that such a landscape was once beyond our imagination. However, after two years of full-scale war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine, it has become familiar. Our unity today will determine how our cities will look tomorrow. Support and help the soldiers, the 24th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade noted. Italy's Mount Etna, one of Europe's most active volcanoes, erupted again in Sicily. The volcano is situated on the island of Sicily and the eruption caused Italy's Civil Protection Agency to raise the alert level in the area from green to yellow. Lava flowed down the sides of Mount Etna which is around 3,300 meters high. During the eruption of the Varagina crater, which had been dormant for four years, sounds like explosions were heard. After this, he threw out ash and smoke, as well as a large amount of red-hot rock. The volcanic activity from the two crates on the new cone has progressively intensified, allowing the cone to grow very rapidly. Italy has raised its alert level to yellow due to lava emissions, tremors, and the risk of more activity from the Etna volcano on the island of Sicily and the Stromboli volcano in the Tyrrhenian Sea. The yellow level was introduced due to the fact of lava emissions, the fixing of earth tremors, and the risk that the situation could quickly move to more energetic. Adding to Etna's intensified activity is the activity of the Stromboli volcano, located on an island in the Tyrrhenian Sea in southern Italy, which yesterday recorded an ash cloud with explosions and magma releases. Etna and Stromboli are the most explosive volcanoes due to the composition of the magma, and they can erupt more explosively due to minute variations in the chemical composition of their magma. The 3,330-meter-high volcano Mount Etna, Europe's tallest active volcano, is believed to have the longest documented history of eruptions among all volcanoes.